Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. 79 degrees with a really nice breeze blowing out here. A really nice breeze. Feels nice. Got a little wave action also this morning. Got some wave action. Good morning, Doni. I got out here early this morning. I brought Roy with me. I had to get him situated in a chair up at the Turtle Club. So he's sitting up there, enjoying the breeze, enjoying the smell of the gulf, the sounds of the waves, the first light of morning. He's in a happy place. It's quite a ritual, quite a ritual getting Roy to the beach now, but God bless him. He loves it. He loves it. And that's his home. That's his home. Not his home away from home. The beach is Roy's home. We all know that. I'm going to take him up to Delnor Wiggins with me later this morning when I go up there to do my second live feed. So anybody want to see Roy... Come on up to Area 4 in, at Delnor Wiggins. I'd say we'll probably get there around 8.30ish. Got to run by his house and pick up a chair and some water. He's looking for somebody to take him to first watch today. He wants to go to first watch. He's looking for somebody to go there with. If anybody's in the mood for blueberry pancakes, that could swing by his house and give him a lift over there. I believe he said he'd, he'd pay for their your breakfast. <laughs> give him a call later. He likes going at about 1.30. I can't do it. I have a funeral to go to today. Good morning. Good morning. Was that Michelle? Michaela? Good morning. So if you haven't figured it out, I'm on Vanderbilt Beach. I'm just south of Vanderbilt Beach on the beach at Pelican Bay, walking south. Just enjoying the sounds of the waves. Waiting for the sun to rise, watching the birds fly by flock of big big flock of ibis just flew overhead of me they just, some of them just landed in front of me still kind of dark to see up there now there's more coming in yeah those guys went by me well three of them landed <laughs> three of them made it here Couple more. Hildy, good morning. Jan, good morning.
Daryl, good morning. Morning, Linda. Feels like that breeze is coming out of the north this morning. Really nice. Just starting to see the colors of morning here. about that. More ibises flying in here. Getting ready for their Sunday school or Sunday sermon here on the beach. Flying into the ibis church. Barbara, good morning. Walk down the beach just a little further here. Supposed to get some rain this afternoon. Starting early. Starting early this afternoon. We'll see. I'm sure it's just spin-offs from the hurricane. 
Isaias or whatever the heck the name of it is. <laughs> Boy, the Ibis are busy this morning. They're flying all around up the beach there. Linda, good morning. <clears throat> uh, that, <clears throat> that wind just feels so good. And the smell of the gulf. Ah, the salt air. It is so refreshing out here. Karen, good morning. Turtle Patrol. It's a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> got something stuck in my throat there. It's a bit too rough out here to spot any manatees. Maybe a dolphin if they popped up out of the water. Boy, I'm really enjoying the waves here. I'm just tuning everything out and listening to the waves. Thinking about things. Thinking about life. Thinking about my friends. Thinking about Roy.
They are nice little waves this morning, don't they? They are. They're playing our song. <laughs> Good morning, Judith. Kathleen, good morning. Arlene, good morning. I'm going to have to turn around here in a minute. I've got to get back up the beach and help Roy. He's sitting up there at the Turtle Club. Him and I got out onto the beach show at about 5 after 6 this morning. And I walked him down to the Turtle Club and Got him sit, situated in a chair there. So he's a happy camper. And I'm going to take him with me to Del Norwigans. Anybody wanting to see Roy will be over at Del Norwigans later this morning up in Area 4. Gorgeous here, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Good morning.
Well, I'm gonna start walking up the beach, heading north into the wind, into that beautiful breeze, that beautiful balmy breeze. How are you doing? It's beautiful out here this morning. That breeze is awesome. <laughs> yep. sun wants to come out it's trying here goes some ibises Whoop. flying by they've been back and forth all morning the ibises
Thanks. Thanks for tuning in this morning, folks. Thanks for getting out of bed. Quick look down to the south. New Jersey, Leona, good morning. Good morning, Joe. Paulette, good morning. Pennsylvania. Good morning, Pennsylvania. Paulette in Pennsylvania.
This is such a gorgeous beach down here. Where I'm standing is actually a private beach. This is owned by the community, the members of Pelican Bay, but it is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous beach. Down to the south, down here as we look down to the south, the homes disappear and it's just beautiful down there. A nice little walk down to Clam Pass, down to the south. I've only done that one time. It was quite a little trip. Palm trees and the sea oats. The sea turtle nest. That's what it's all about right there. walking on the beach way down in the distance. It's a long story, Judith. It's all about money. <laughs> That's how a beach can be private. It's all about greed. And our stupid former governor Condos sticking up. Still beautiful. Still a beautiful view. I got to get moving along. Stop dilly dallying here. I just get lost in the moment, lost in the beauty.
Technically, you're only allowed to walk down by the water on the beach here. Down by the Ritz, all by the condo, all the way down to, all the way down this entire beach. You're only, you're supposed to stay out by the water. The mean high tide line. Right about up in here. Right about up in here. Up to the right is where it is a private beach. Right now there's nobody here. I mean, it's not really a major deal if you're walking along the beach there, but in the winter time, when all the residents are here and especially in these condos, they act like little condo commandos out there telling you to get off their beach. It's kind of sad. That's why I can't stand these things along the beach. I hate it. Wish a hurricane had come along and remove them. <laughs> They just keep building more and more and more. Some of these greedy developers are not going to be happy till they knock down every single tree and chase off every bit of wildlife. Just ruin Florida completely. Well, we won't be seeing Dexter. Dexter doesn't walk on Sundays. He takes Sundays off. On, Lars. Lisa, good morning. Carl, good morning. Good morning up there in Ontario.
Yes, Connie Roy is up here at the Turtle Club. I'm going to be taking him up to Del Nor Wiggins with me here in a little while. Roy's looking for somebody to go to first watch with today. His car isn't working. So he's looking for somebody to maybe pick him up and go to first watch later this afternoon. Well, early this afternoon, around 1.30. Anybody wanting to go try out those blueberry pancakes? <laughs> Roy would love to tag along with you. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Roy's benches at Del Norwegians. I don't know who's got everybody worried that Roy's bench has been taken out of Del Norwegians. It's, it was just moved around the corner. Just right around the corner from where it normally sits. The park rangers are trying to spread everything out there people from sitting in big groups so they actually took some of the picnic tables out and moved the benches around all over the park but his bench is still there they will never get rid of Roy's well, actually, Audrey's bench. They'll never remove that. That will be there forever and ever. Long after I'm gone. I'm loving this breeze out here. Man, oh man, it's such a nice change. It's so refreshing. Right on that, Stephanie. Although the people who go to the beach, they do move stuff around. And nobody, the, the rangers, I mean, you're allowed to move stuff around, just put it back to where it was. Just put everything back the way you found it. That's the rules. God, I've seen somebody put a picnic table out in the water one time up in area five now that was a little overboard and they didn't put it back <laughs> so that was a job for the rangers after it sat out there in the water getting buried in the sand
Yep, we've seen our share of birds this morning. All ibises this morning. Lots of ibis. The ibis march. <laughs> I love when they scratch their head like that. Beautiful Sunday morning. Now the sun's hitting my face in between the buildings. Starting to set up the chairs here along the beach at the Ritz-Carlton. getting close to where I came in at early this morning with Roy. Again, we're going to head up to Del Nor Wiggins, Roy and I. I'll do another live feed up there. Yep, 
prayer for prayers for Jean, Jean and her family. Anybody else needs some prayers? Don't be shy here. Let the group know. That's what being a family is all about. Scotland. Yes, Scotland is beautiful. I've never been there, but I have several friends from Scotland. Beautiful country. Wow, a hundred years old. How sweet. How sweet. We need to fix her up with Roy. <laughs> I don't know if he likes older gals, though. Robert, comments like that get you kicked out of here. No political remarks like that. No matter how much you want to do it. I know it's tempting to say things. We try not to go on rants here political rants <laughs> Roy is 90 well Roy's going to be 96 96 December 20th so they're about the same age Roy just Roy's just loving companionship now just somebody to sit and talk to when he used to go up to Del Norwigans all his friends would stop by and say hi to him in the morning but here at Vanderbilt I mean he has made some new friends down here but it's just not the same as Del Norwigans And he does have his share of friends stop by. And they come by the house, too. Of course, anybody that knows Roy, you know you're always welcome to drop in and pay him a visit. Or if you have his phone number, give him a call. Right now, though, he's having a hard time hearing. He's having a little problem, some problems hearing. So probably a phone call isn't the best thing. personal visits. He loves the personal visits. Well, 
didn't see any dolphins. I didn't expect to be able to see any manatees this morning. That, it's just too rough to spot them. There was a lot of manatee activity out here yesterday. Up at Del Norwegans, they saw quite a few of them throughout the day. Come down here and see if Roy saw any dolphins down here. breeze is just incredible. The sun's stuck behind the clouds over here. Hopefully it'll be rising up above them soon. Well, somebody had a wedding on the beach. I see Daddy-O walking up there. I see Daddy-O making his way up the beach. stars this morning. Interesting morning. Interesting morning. Here he comes. Good. I didn't see any dolphins. Did you see any dolphins? No. Pretty rough out there. Oh yeah, the, the waves and that breeze, boy. And that, and that wind, something else. I mean, that's awesome. I love the wind. It is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Yeah. Not really. It was behind the clouds all morning. Yep. Yeah, get moving. Let you get moving there. Takes you a little while to get up there. Yep. Wind you up. Get you going. Roy. Roy at his happy place. <laughs> Me too. So are we going to go up to Del Nor Wiggins? Whatever you want to do. Yep, all right. We'll go. We'll swing by your house and get a chair. And I'll put your chair out there up by area four there. Yeah, wonderful. By the trees. I'll get that big chair that's got the footrest on. I'll use that one once. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I'll be up there in a minute. Go do your thing, rinse off. Get the sand off you.
All right. I don't know when we'll be back. It's going to take us a little while to get the show on the road here. We'll be heading up to Del Norwegans. I'll do a live feed there. Hey, another live feed. Hopefully, everybody will be out of bed by then. <laughs> Sun's just peeking out here. Got a little bit of sunlight on the beach, not much. Oh, I see, I finally got some stars, thank you. Roy's, Roy's chugging away here. It's like the little Energizer bunny. He just keeps plugging along there. Plugging along. Everybody knows Roy. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching this morning. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful Sunday. Thanks for being a friend, a follower, a supporter. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them to join us in the mornings. Hopefully I'll see you later. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. <laughs>